What's up, gold diggers? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Gold Rush. Oh my god, I just drove into a hole. Oh my god, this is not good. I showed you guys how to move stuff, like, in case you get stuck uh, before, but just in case, you know, you forgot or you didn't see that video. Uh, if you press M and you go on the map, you could choose anything on the map, and then once you've chosen it, you could choose to reset it, and it puts it back at the beginning of the uh, camp. Now, if you have anything in the back of your truck, or, you know... Uh, I guess it's just a truck, but if you have anything in the back of your truck, uh, what happens is the stuff just stays there and, uh, you can see right here, all my buckets are fine. They've still got the magnetite in them. I didn't lose anything. I just gotta re I just gotta put these, uh, buckets back in the back of my truck. All right. Well, well, that was a pretty fun intro. Anyway, you know, I, um, I, uh, exited the, I killed the video because I was like, eh, this is probably going to be a problem. I'm probably gonna have to reload a save. I'm going to, it's going to put me way behind. Uh, and I was going to get rid of the footage. I decided not to because I thought it would be pretty funny footage. Uh, and then I decided, eh, you know what? If this works, I'll just keep the footage for the intro. And there we go. So that will remain the intro. All right. Last video, we got a large excavator. And you guys have all been knowing my excavator extractor problems. Uh, I keep calling the excavator extractor. Uh, the way I'm going to try and remember it to say excavator instead of extractor is the V. All right. If I say, if I'm, if I say something like, you know, Without a V, like if I'm talking about that big excavator and I say something without a V, then I know I said the wrong word. <laughs> uh, hopefully that will uh, cure my ills. I don't know what the problem is, you know. Um, it's just, it's pretty funny. It's also funny watching people get mad in the comments. I mean, it's not funny. I feel bad. Like, I don't want to piss anyone off, but at the same time, it's, it's a little funny. All right. So last video, we got the uh, big excavator. The big, the big excavator is a freaking awesome tool. Um, I feel like I bought pretty much all the tools in pr pretty much the right order. Um, I probably could, you know, when you start the game, you could probably take out a $300,000 loan or something or whatever you need and just go right to tier two, right? But uh, as a Let's Player, I kind of want to show you guys all the tiers. So, oh uh, boy. Anyway, as a Let's Player, I kind of want to show you guys all the tiers. So I'm kind of glad I, you know, I, I showed you uh, what I showed you. All right, there we go. Let's go down there and see if we can get that bucket. Even though stuff falls over, it doesn't spill out. So if we could just uh, maybe get out of here, that would be wonderful. You can't really jump once you get in one of these areas. It wouldn't be so bad if you could jump. It's just sometimes you could jump and, and sometimes you can't. I'm not really sure why. So what I'm going to do to kind of help myself out of this is I'd like to put the bucket somewhere I can get it from the top. No, see, it's it's weird. It, like, it only lets me jump at weird times. I wonder if I could throw it up there. Let's see. Nope, that didn't work. Here, let's try again. Oh, almost. Hold on. Hold on. I think I could do this. Oh, oh man. This is actually pretty fun. All right. So I just jumped out of that hole. I eventually got out of there. It just took a little while and I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to bore you with that part of the game. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So last uh, video, we got the excavator, the large excavator. And this video, I'm thinking we're going to go for the front loader. Now I've been watching some videos about tier three and I don't know if tier three has been fixed, but I was watching some videos about tier three. Oh boy, don't tell me this thing's bugged now. Um, I was watching some videos about tier three, and tier three seemed to be um, worth it. Like someone like got like uh, like a couple percent in a bucket, and it gave him like four ounces of gold. So I'm not sure if tier three has been fixed or whatnot, but um, I think we will eventually work towards tier three. And uh, I think the number one thing I'm gonna want is a front loader because what I can do with the front loader is I can move uh, two mobile wash plants right next to each other, right? There we go. Now, if this doesn't work, it's bugged. Um, I could move two mobile wash plants right next to each other and then just use the front loader. There we go. To um to kind of load them both at the same time. A lot of people have been telling me to do that. Um, I need to figure out a way. The thing is, you make most of your money with the with the magnetite, right? By the way, we're down to like $8,000, but we're up to 17 uh, ounces of gold, which is awesome. Um, so anyway, the, the way you make money is with the magnetite. So putting the two wash plants next to each other is a good idea, but you got to do it. You got to do it in a way that doesn't block any of the, uh, magnetite output areas. You know what I mean? So, and the only person I've ever seen do it, um, did block up the magnetite areas and they were giving up magnetite and it is not worth it if you have to give up the magnetite. I mean, I only filled those buckets. Uh, I did some off camera mining. I filled the buckets up to about, I think like 25% roughly each. And I've got about $20,000 in magnetite right now. So yeah, gold is nice and all, but as of right now, the magnetite is a real money maker, which is kind of weird, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, there we go. That should be good enough. All right. So let's uh, dump this and let's make some mother effing money. Hells yeah. 
Money for days! Oh god, I can't do that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Alright guys, I'm back. I got everything all lined up. This, uh, this light is pretty good, but the problem is it's, um, it's got really bad shadows on the opposite end. Like, anything that gets in the way, it just gets really, really, like, pitch dark over here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up another light on this side and see if I can get, um, angles from both sides. See if I can work at night. I wanna work at night, but... It just ain't working out um, the way I like it. The way I would like it to. It's just not bright enough. All right, so we're sitting about twenty-eight thousand dollars and probably about twenty-five thousand dollars in gold. So we're about fifty, roughly fifty k. We're gonna need we're gonna need a hundred for the uh, front end loader. I am probably going to have to take out a loan for it. You know, which is you know it is what it is. Oh my god! See, look at these magnetite things, man. They fill up like in like that was only one. That was like. I don't know, 50% of a load, and uh, we've already got buckets filling up, so it's pretty crazy. Uh, magnetite is the money maker. There is no doubt about that. Um, magnetite is where it's at. I also meant to mention this. I don't think I mentioned this. Um, I've been making a couple videos today, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I mentioned this because I know I mentioned some other videos, but it's important you guys know this. Um, I, I was sick uh, this weekend, and I'm kind of over it now. But my allergies are acting up, so if I sound weird or, you know, anything like that, um, you know why. And if I do some weird cuts, it's probably because I just sneezed, like, you know, broke blood vessels in my eyes by sneezing. Um, you know, because, like, when I sneeze, I sneeze hard. Especially when I've got... when I'm sick. If you watch both my 70s Die videos and, uh... And this game, then you've heard this story twice, but just, you know, just in case. Uh, basically, I was sick on Thursday. I kind of started getting over it on Friday, um, which was yesterday. But my allergies prevented me from making any videos. It was, uh, it was devastating. It was devastating allergies. Um, I, like bright lights were just killing me. So uh, I had to like, I couldn't make any videos, which kind of sucked. Um, so if the videos seem a little bit uh, weird uh, this weekend, that's why I'm gonna be back on track. Though. I should be back on track by Sunday. Um, Assuming that I stay, you know, uh, assuming that I'm really, like, you know, uh, assuming that the sickness is actually over. Like, really over. And I think it is, but the, oh man, the freaking allergies. Like, ugh, I freaking hate allergies. I'd rather be sick than have allergies, honestly. They suck. I gotta be careful here. I think that's good. I'll come over here and dump the rest in here. There we go. That's basically the way I do it. I dump it in one. I, you know, I, I try and get about half in one and half in the other, roughly. It never comes out to half, but as long as I don't fill one up, that's 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 all that matters. You don't want to see that thing where, oh, you're wasting pay dirt. You know, that's devastating. Look at this, more magnetite already. Man, it's crazy. All right, uh, we're going to raise this up a little bit. Put a little bit down there. 40% is good. Let's bring some over here. Dump the rest in there. There we go, that went up to 80%. That's cool. Magnetite all over the place. Whew. It, it takes a long time to get gold for me because um, I'm constantly dealing with magnetite. Like, look at that bucket fell over. There's so much magnetite in it. Look at this. This thing's almost half full. This thing's almost half full. So far, we, uh, basically, so far with, with where the mobile wash plants are now, I've made about twenty to $25,000 in magnetite. I'm considering that that's almost another 5,000. I mean, it's just insane. It's insane. It's got to be a bug. It has to be. It has to be. How are you going to make more gold on in Magnetite than you are in gold in a game called Gold Rush? That doesn't make any sense. Although, like I said, I don't watch a show. I know a lot of you guys do. Um, i got to find time to watch a show. Maybe I'll start it today. I've been on a movie binge lately. I've been watching a lot of movies. Um, watch Guardians of the Galaxies 1 and 2 yesterday. Uh, not that I... I mean, I love Guardians of the Galaxy, but I've seen it like a million times. I just, uh, I didn't have really think anything else to do. And, um, I've been watching this show called F is for Family. I just finished it. And they have that, um, that one song, Come and Get Your Love. I don't know the name of it. I, that's what they say in the song, though. Um, it's like a 70s song. And, um, they have it in the beginning of F is for Family. And when I heard that song, it instantly got me in the mood to watch Guardians of the Galaxy. So, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, right? You got the feeling you gotta watch Guardians of the Galaxy? You gotta watch Guardians of the Galaxy. Don't fight it. All right, so let's do this. All right, come to Papa. So my plan is today to save up the money or, and probably take out a loan and get the front end loader, okay? And then my plan tomorrow, next video, is going to be to try and line these two mobile wash plants up and use the front end loader like you got, a lot of you guys have been telling me to do. Basically, the idea is you... um. The front end loader, I think... I think the this thing right here I'm using, this... uh. 
this large excavator. Um, I believe this thing holds about 120 dirt worth of dirt or whatever, 120 units of dirt. And I think the um, I think the uh, the front end loader maybe holds like double. And if you could if you could put these mobile wash, but well, maybe not double because that would be two hundred percent, and that wouldn't be worth it for the mobile wash plants. You you lose a lot of dirt. Um, but the idea is that the, the, the idea is that the uh, the fr if you if you line up these mobile wash plants side by side in a particular way, and you could get the front end loader to um, put it in there, uh, you you could you could really get a lot of pay dirt in here like quickly. So that's the idea. All right. Uh, that one's at eighty seven percent. This one's at 58, and we've got more magnetite. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. So, we have now filled up both buckets on both of our mobile wash plants, and we also have pretty much another two full uh, sets of magnetite to bring in. Um, almost two full sets. Almost two full sets. So, basically, we're going to make $40,000 on the magnetite um, for two buckets of uh of gold <laughs> that's pretty funny i don't know what we're gonna get from that two buckets of gold and I, I can almost guarantee it's not gonna be forty thousand dollars worth of anything all right there we go yep so that's another eight so we got another uh almost two full almost two full no more in there no more in there that's a hundred percent let's turn this off all right let's bring the pay dirt over here and let's turn these machines on so we'll turn the uh, generator on here turn the Wave table. Uh, did I turn that off? Yeah, I turned it off. Okay. Got the wave table. This thing I left on for some reason. Oh, well. 56% uh, and zero. That's fine. And there we go. Let's get some pay dirt, people. Okay. So that's going to go up to 90 and... Uh, what was it? 54? 64? 90? And, I don't know. Something like that. 66. Okay. So there we go. So we'll put that right there. And then we will... Uh, Put this bucket down there and put this one on top. And this should go to 90 and 76%. 90 and 76%. Let's get these buckets out from underneath here. I want to run them over when I uh, pull out. Put this here now so we don't forget to later. Okay, so that's good. I think we're ready to go. So let's uh let's get some let's get some money here. We're at uh we're at uh 20 I don't even know how much. A lot. I'll look at it later on in the video to see. We were at like 23.4 or something like that. 23.4. 23, 23.4. 23.4. 23.4. Were, we, were we really at 23.4? Process the soil. How is that soil? Why did it say soil? Hmm. That's interesting. Does it always say soil? I don't know. Whatever. Let's just put this in here. All right, we're at 24-3. 24-3. Okay, 24-3. Let's see what we get in this one. 24-3. 25-3 is one ounce. 25-3 is one ounce. Probably 25-2. Wow, we're not, we didn't even get a full ounce. Did I do something wrong here? I don't think I did. I mean, these were filled up to 100%. I ran them through the... I ran them through the... Now I'm sick in real life, so maybe there's something I'm missing here. I don't know, but I got less than an ounce on both of those. That's... what. I'm not sure if I did something wrong. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments because I don't want to do that again. If I did do something wrong, maybe I missed a stage. Like I said, I'm very, I'm under the weather, so <laughs> allergies are kicking my ass, and I'm just being I'm just getting over being sick. So I'm not sure if I missed anything here. But if I did, please let me know in the comments. Well, guys, I watched back the video, and um, sick or not, I don't see what I did wrong there. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. All right, so let's uh let's go ahead and sell all of this uh, magnetite, this wonderful wonderful magnetite. Check it out. I love it. And then we're going to go to town. We're getting that front loader one way or another, people. If we got to come hell or high water, if I got to rob the bank, I will. Because we're getting that front loader today. All right. Next video is going to be me using the front loader, trying to get those wash plants right next to each other. Seeing if I can, you know, learn the front. Oh, my goodness. What the heck happened there? What happened there, Cage? Man, those those buckets are just glued to my, uh, to my truck, aren't they? Yeah, look at them. They ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. Oh boy. Um, I think what I might do is I might just like keep the game running <laughs> after I uh, buy this front loader. I'll get a bunch of money and I'll just keep the game running and just let my workers uh, get my gold for me because they're obviously better at getting gold than I am. Although it is taking eight of them to do it, but um, you know, that, that, uh, yeah, getting less than an ounce, um, 
is unacceptable. <laughs> I don't know if there's a bug going on or if they nerfed it or what, but it's unacceptable. Uh, so we shall see. I can't wait to read the comments on this video because you guys always give me good, good tips and let me know what's going on. So that will be really, really wonderful to uh, kind of you know get an idea of what the hell is up because uh, that was pathetic. I mean, an ounce is only twelve hundred dollars too. Like all that work for twelve hundred dollars or maybe twenty four hundred dollars. Forget that. Especially when I got this magnetite freaking going. And if this magnetite wasn't like I said, I think this magnetite is bugged. I'll tell you right now, if this magnetite wasn't giving me the amount of money it, it, it is, I don't know what I would do because, like, it would just take way too long for me to do anything in this game. I would like to get some, uh, some, uh, one more light, one more set of lights and another generator, um, when I go to town today. Although I don't know how I'm going to deal with these buckets once I've done that, so I'm not really sure. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. We're definitely going to turn in everything and do what we can, um, to get the front loader. And we also need... Uh, what, what, what are we spending? About $150 a day? And we're going to need a loan? Yeah. Because we're spending, I think, $150 or so a day on uh, uh, payroll. And we're also going to be taking a loan. So we have to remember the loan, whatever the loan ends up being, and the payroll. And we have to keep enough money for a few days. Eh, two days will probably be fine. I could just probably take one, uh, one trip of uh, Magnetite here and, and get plenty of payroll for... I mean, one trip of Magnetite, if it's $150 a day, let's say I take the loan. Let's say the loan is another $1,000 a day. You know, that's still fit, like $1,200 a day. One trip of Magnetite will clear me for like six to eight days, something like that. So, this stuff is the nectar of the gods. Okay, there we go. $40,000. Beautiful. We probably won't have to take too much of a loan either. A lot of people are asking why I left this thing here last time. Uh, it's because I don't like driving around with it on my uh, truck when I go into town. No real reason. Probably come back and get those uh, buckets, I guess. Um, I'm definitely going to get a light in one generator and a front loader. That's what we're doing today, people. This is going to happen. Next video will be me using the front loader. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting. The front loader is kind of made for uh, Tier 3. Honestly, the front loader is me moving into Tier 3. Think about it like that. Um, because the front loader is what you want to use for Tier... Actually, it's the only way to go for Tier 3. And once I get the dump truck and the front loader, I'll be fully in Tier 3. And it'll, like, it'll be crazy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the front loader today. And then I'm going to start saving up for the Tier 3 material. Now a lot of people said that the tier three is not worth it. You probably get more. Uh, you probably get more money by sticking with tier two. And you know what? I've seen people use tier three. You don't get a lot of magnetite with tier three, do you? So for two full buckets of pay dirt, I got forty thousand dollars worth of magnetite, pretty much. You know, maybe uh, maybe that would be the way to go. Maybe maybe sticking with tier two would be better. But I am a let's player. I want to show as much of the game as I can. If tier three is not indeed worth it, I want to show you. So. That's what I'm going to be doing. Oh my goodness. All over. I'm all over the place. Alright, so we got about 28 ounces of gold here. So let's get on out. Let's sell this. You can leave the gold here. You don't even have to take it with you. I've seen some people playing and they like, they take the gold and they put it, they put it in the back of their, uh, in the back of their truck and they're like, oh, where'd the gold go? Because they usually drop it in this, in this, the, uh, yeah, right there. Actually, um, they usually drop it in the, uh, steer, what, the, not the steer well, the, the wheel well, the wheel area, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And they can never, and they can't see the gold, and they start panicking. You could leave the gold anywhere, guys. It does not matter. It does not matter. And some of these videos are older. So, you know, I don't, I try not to judge, uh, or not judge, but I try not to say, oh, you don't have to do that, like on a video that's older, because obviously that player probably knows it by now. But I'm just saying for those that don't know. All right, so how much is this going to get us? This is 28. It's going to put us up pretty high. We need uh, $97,000 for the front loader. And like I said, we're going to get it one way or another. Come hell or high water, I'm actually going to turn off my timer. All right. So uh, I can take a loan, right? Okay, good. I was like, where are you there for a minute? 31000 All right, sounds good. We're up to 72000 Okay, so let me go buy the lights and the generator first. Um, I don't know if I have enough cables. I think I do. I'm going to buy the lights and the generator first. That'll be the last thing I need to buy. Um, and then I will do my, uh, my mental math and, uh, kind of figure out how much I'm going to want to, uh, how much of a loan I'm going to want to take out. All right, guys, I'm shooting for $110,000. That'll give me, uh, enough money to buy the, um, uh, that'll give me enough, uh, enough money to buy the, uh, front loader and $10,000 for payroll, uh, which should be plenty. So if we need 110, that means we need another, we need about a fifth forty thousand dollar loan. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. 
40,000, 40,000. It's a little tricky. They should let you type this in. 40,000. Oh, damn it. There we go. All right. So let's say uh, six, let's say six days. That's going to be uh, daily charge is going to be 6,000. That's too much. Um, let's go to 12, 3,500 3, daily. That probably, that means you need about 4,000 with payroll roughly. I don't want to be paying this thing off for that. I don't want to be paying this thing off for too many days because the idea is I'm going to want to take out loans for tier three stuff. Um, 3,500. So let's say $4,000 per day. If I, the problem is if I don't make the money, if I forget all my guys quit. That's the problem. I mean, like I can go into the negative. If I didn't have anyone working for me, it's not a big deal. But the thing is, if I forget about this and I lose all the money, then I'm kind of screwed. Um, I'm going to go with this 12 days, 3,500, $4,000 with payroll will cover everything easily. Let's take the loan. Okay. So now we got the money. We got it. I got, I can't be screwed around now, guys. I got to make some mother effing money. All right, so um, now let's go to the big, tr the big, uh, what is it called? Yeah, I think it's this way. I don't know what it's called. The big yard, the big, uh, I don't know, I don't know, machine yard? I don't know. Uh, it's past the police station. It's right here. This is going to be the stuff we're going to need for tier three as well, a lot of this stuff. Okay, so let's come out in here. We'll leave that running because it doesn't matter. And uh, we're going to eventually need the dump truck, obviously. We will need some of these uh, sluice boxes. We will need... Oh, I don't know what the hell this is. Conveyor belt. These are new. I don't know anything about these. So that's something we're going to have to look at later. Um, we're going to need this thing right here. The trommel. Uh, we're going to need this thing right here. The, the big power generator. Uh, big fuel tank. Ooh, that's a lot of money. No, actually, that's not a lot of money. $15,000. It's not that bad. We should definitely get one of those. That's going to be important. Um, I don't know about this thing, the shaker. Oh, yeah, the shaker. Okay, yeah, I, I've seen this. Um, yeah, so that's pretty, uh, and we're gonna need, uh, I think we need two of these, don't we? Because, um, these things go at the bottom, but I've only ever seen people use one, but it looks like you can use two at the bottom for tier three. So, anyway, that's some of the stuff we're gonna need, guys. That is not what we're doing right now, though. Let's go ahead and get our wonderful, wonderful front end loader. Hells Yeah. I did not take into account the the fact that this thing's gonna have to be transferred to base, but I think it's only like fifteen hundred dollars, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Order it. We're now down to fifteen thousand. I don't need to see that again. Uh, and then we go right here and transfer it fifteen hundred. Confirm. We are at twelve thousand dollars. We have enough payroll for three days. Three days, people. Whew, man, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. All right, let's get back to uh, let's get back to the claim. All right, guys, this thing's pretty cool, man. I really like it. Um, you know, I just want to mention really quickly right off the bat the fact that we have a, a thirty-five hundred dollar loan per day means that we want to work through the night. Like, if you go to sleep for the night, that thirty-five hundred comes right off. If you stay up and work through the night, it comes right off anyway. But you've worked through the night, so I'm gonna try and get this as lit as possible, um, so I can work uh, here through the night pretty easily. And let's uh, let's mess around with this thing for a little bit. I'm kind of just I'm just gonna play around. I probably won't do much with it um, today, but I kind of just want to mess around with it since I did buy it. Oh boy! And the first thing I did was get it stuck. Look at the way it's got like it turns like in the middle. That's cool. Really? Are you really stuck? No, you're not stuck. All right. So let's see if we can uh, get some dirt in this thing just for the just for the lulls. All right. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna bring up the controls, and we're gonna hit shift. Um, oh, so there's not two sets of controls with this thing. Okay, cool. So arm, arm, blade, and that's it. Arm and blade. Cool. That's a lot easier then. So this goes up. This is the blade. Yep. Okay. All right. So let's try and dig some dirt here. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, arm down more, blade up. I think arm down more and blade up will probably be the way we want to go here. Yep. And then blade up and then arm down some more. Yeah, maybe. Let's try that. All right, there we go. All right, we got a lot of dirt in there. So now we bring the arm up and the blade up as well so we don't spill any. And there we go, guys. We got some dirt. Nice. Nice. So let's uh, bring that over here. Oh, you get stuck in there. Okay. Yeah, this thing, uh, you got to be careful with it. All right, so let's go through here. Come on. Come on. What am I doing right now? I don't know. Oh, God. I am screwed. Uh, beep. Beep, beep. Oh, look at that. It got out. Okay, let's stay away from the holes. 
We're dropping dirt, aren't we? Maybe. Uh, let's do this. Oh, you can't. Okay, so we're gonna bring this up more. So the arm, the so the uh, blade doesn't go up anymore. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right, let's see if we can get over to our mobile wash plants with this thing. This thing is very, very different <laughs> controlling than the uh, than the excavator, obviously. And because we're digging random holes in our base, um, okay, it looks a it's a little delayed when you use the controls. All right, so I think we're just gonna kind of screw around here. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, those aren't even anywhere near close enough, but whatever. Okay. Go like that. There you go, a little bit more. There we go. This is, this is completely pointless, by the way. They're not even lined up properly. I'm just kind of messing around. Uh, bleed down. Uh, actually, I probably want to back up a little bit. Eh, bleed down, screw it. Whatever. There we go. And we only got it in one. <laughs> the rest of the dirt went on the ground. <laughs> okay, guys, the front loader is pretty freaking cool. Um, I've got to get, I got to get a little used to it. We're gonna set, we're gonna probably move this entire setup, probably over there. I'm not really sure exactly where, but we're gonna move the entire setup next video. And what I'm gonna do next video is I'm going to attempt to get those two mobile wash plants side by side without blocking any of the uh, areas that are giving me uh, magnetite. And uh, let me just get out really quick and uh, show you how I plan on doing that. I'm gonna do it off camera though, because it's gonna be a pain in the ass. So I'm thinking this side right here, there's nothing here that's in the way, right? And and this side, I think if I take this and move it around, like just, just move it around and back it right in here and have this side flush with this side right next to each other. Actually, I might not even, have, I probably won't even have to move the operation to do that. So that should be pretty cool. Anyway, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.